Yeah, you can't see it because you can't see your feet. Because the last time you saw your feet was like 30 years ago. Um, there's a couple of notes I missed in this world a long ass time ago. And I'd really like to get those now before I forget. In fact, well, what the hell. While we're messing around here, maybe we should just go ahead and take the third kid back to his mom. Well, what the heck. Yeah, this and the kid are in the same place, thank god. I also need to unlock the train station while I'm here. So we can do that, too. So thank goodness this is all in one place here. In the Dive of Death, there's actually notes down here that I didn't pick up, so... Let's get these. It's a lucky thing we didn't uh, turn up short on notes when we went to learn a new move. That would have stunk. You know, just like the 80 channels that Weird Al hooked up, that all stunk. Blech. If you didn't have to spend all your time growling at me, you might have actually gotten to me before I got away. But you're just too stupid, I guess. Okay, train station. Now, there is a... Holy crap. Oh, there's the switch up there. And there's the thing where the monster... Whatever. Let's try this casket over here. Okay, and then the wall. Yeah, sure enough, that's how you do it. Man, I never would have figured that out by myself. Well, I mean, I probably would have, but oh, holy crap. Yeah, these monsters are annoying. Just die. Thank you. And at last, we have the train station of Witchy World open. Yeah, that's right. Now, I still need to unlock the train station at Isle of Hags on the way to uh, World 4, because I never got that one either. There was a grip grab outside that I didn't pick up. And uh, where's that kid at? Where's that tub? I know you're in here, tubby. Sorry. Just... Sure. Okay, we're bringing the train over to, uh, from Glitter Gulch Mine down to Witchy World now that we have it open. And I believe, and I should have done this while I was here, I don't know what I was thinking, just walking out of here. I'll probably edit that out anyway. But once you bring the train over to this world, I do believe the dinosaur that was waiting for it will automatically board it. And then she'll just wait for you to, uh, go back to Pterodactyl Land and call it to Pterodactyl Land from there. But I'm not totally sure yet if if she goes automatically or yeah she does okay excellent oh I think I heard the train arrive time to leave awesome going home I mean I don't know this kind of perplexes me because you would think this little guy ran away from her or well actually I think it's a girl you think she ran away for a reason but now all of a sudden I think she had a change of heart so she'll just wait there until you get the train back to Pterodactyl Land. I, I don't know if you can take it to Pterodactyl Land. I don't know if you can call it there unless you've opened all the ones in between, which means, you know, the one outside of World 4 and possibly the one in World 4 if there is one. I could have sworn there was a train station in every world, but I don't know 100% if that's true or not. I don't think there's one in World 4. I'm pretty sure there's not. Okay, for some reason, I can't find the fat kid. He seems to have changed his location. So I'm going to be looking around for him for a while, so... Uh, he might over be over here in the space zone, I'm not sure. It would, it would appear that he's changed his location, because... Uh, either that or I just forgot where he was. There he is! There's that tub! Okay, I need to uh, switch to Banjo Solo, so... See if I can find some split pads around here and do that. Okay, we are here with Banjo Solo. We just used the warp point. I could have done that in the first place to get to the split pads, but dude, I lost my sense of direction here. You know what? I'm going to pick up a clockwork egg while I'm here. Because we need all of those we can get. And right now it counts when you only have three or four of them to pick up one. That actually matters. Anyway, so here's how the taxi pack works. You can pretty much store... You'd be surprised what you can store in this backpack. So it's basically, you hold Z and press C right. Right? Dude! Okay, I guess C left. So it's a bit... Oh my god, I didn't realize that. Thank goodness you came! I'm really hungry! You look like you've had plenty already. 
No way, I just need a burger before I go find my mom. Ooh, you got some burgers. Please, 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 can I have one? Will you give me some food? Oh. I forgot that I hadn't fed him yet. I'm gonna have to get another burger before I head back to Pterodactyl Land. <laughs> Burp! My tummy hurts. Please carry me back to Mom. I can't stand up. I'm not surprised. So it's basically the same as the Talon Trot. I thought you had to push a different button for that, but no. It's you hold Z and press the C left, and then you and then you keep Z down and walk up to whatever you want to pick up and push B and it picks it up. So now Banjo's a delivery guy. And we gotta find that warp point. So you won't be able to pick up Kazooie until you get rid of whatever's in your backpack. So we're gonna warp to the entry and drop this little guy off, or this big guy, should I say? <laughs> it's not so little anymore. Oh my God! Do I have to do that? Oh my God! Yeah, so just Z and C left again, and you'll automatically. Holy crap! What did I tell you about not running off? Nice tonsil work there. I'm sorry, Mom. Sorry isn't good enough, young man. You've been eating again, haven't you? Well, you'd still better watch your dinner. <laughs> it was that strange bear, Mom. He made me eat this burger. Oh, man. <laughs> Jeez, I thought Tales of Symphonia was bad. Well, Tales of Symphonia is still worse than that. But holy crap. Time to go back home to Hailfire Peaks. Boggy will be wondering where we've gone to. It's the first mention of Hailfire Peaks, I think, that we've seen in the playthrough. I'm not sure. They might have mentioned it one other time. I don't know. I've been trying not to mention it because... Oh, my God. Ew! So even from behind, you can see them. Even from behind, you can see them. Ugh. I am just... Ugh. Okay, that's going to count as a witchy world jiggy, so I think that gives us nine in this world. I don't I really want to pause because I'm afraid it's going to freeze, but <laughs> that's nine. Oh, we got all ten in this world. We still have ten notes left to pick up. Man. Well, those have got to be somewhere pretty easy to get. Oh, i got to go back and get Kazooie. Yeah. <laughs> Oops. Almost forgot. I need to get Kazooie and I need to get some hamburgers. Hey dude, did you ever find that patty under your left foot? Hand over some more burgers. Sorry kid, I'm sold out. Come back later, huh? What? Oh man. Well that sucks. Yeah, so to get back to Pterodactyl Land, like I said, you're gonna have to use the uh, those shoes that let you walk on the... that let you walk up walls. Which means you're gonna have to walk up the ropes of the tent first. <gasps> Jeez. There's gotta be an easier way to get up here. But you know what? I'm just taking it safe. I'm just playing it safe. That was a jiggy. Okay, these over here. Make sure you know where you're going though before you pick these up. Make sure you know which way to run. Because you only got so much time. Oh crap! Crap, you don't get those two world six! Oh my god. We gotta go a different way. Starting to get a runny nose here. What's up with that? Yeah, we can. Oh, wait, no, we can go there. Oh my gosh. Okay, let's go. Sweet. So let's take that little booger home. I'm guessing if I had left here and then just came right back, the guy would have more hamburgers. So I think I'm going to check that out real quick because I want to go ahead and feed this caveman, get that out of the way. And then I'll probably stop the video there. Because uh, I don't get started on that. I don't want to stop in the middle of it, you know, and have food on me when I turn off the game. You didn't say there'd be a new game. Uh, I can't stand the way she says the word game when she says it. She's like, you didn't say there'd be a new game. It's impossible to describe. You're home. Home again, home again, jiggity jig. I hope mom won't be too mad at me. Uh, she loves you. She won't be mad. Moms never are. You know how they are. They're just so sweet. <laughs> Styracosaurus. Yeah, it said it right there, and I was sitting there like, Oh, is that a Stegosaurus? Uh. <laughs> Thanks for returning my lost child. She'll be cleaning out our cave for the next month as punishment. Oh, no. You should have stayed in the jail. Should have stayed in jail. Get some more toilet paper. Okay, we don't have... Why, why was it showing that? It was showing how much food I had. I need to go back to Witchy World. 
I'm gonna go back and see if I can get more food. I'll be right... Oh, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter because I can't take it. I can't take it with me anyway. Never mind. Okay, I'm back. Guys, I just realized that I'm not gonna be able to do that food thing because I don't have the claw clamber boots, so I won't be able to sneak it out of Witchy World anyway. So I am gonna have to save that for another time. But... I guess I guess we made some pretty decent progress. So well, two jiggies isn't exactly progress, or is that three jiggies? Anyway, whatever. I will see you next time on Let's Play Banjo Tooie. Thanks for watching, everyone. I hope you've had as much fun watching as I have had playing today. I have to say this is actually one of the most fun times I've had recording on this game yet. So <laughs> starting to really get into the meat of the game, I think, so to speak, when you start going back and forth between worlds and stuff. So there's gonna be a lot more of that actually. So uh, I will see you later. Bye.